What's up, people of YouTube? This is Roller here, bringing you guys a, another video to my channel. I am not much of a zombies player, but in this video, I am going to be showing you guys exactly how to, one, turn on the power in the new zombies map, Attack of the Radioactive Thing, and I'm also going to be showing you how to pack a punch your weapons. Now, I did not figure this out myself. There are other videos, and there are other places where you can find this information on the internet, uh, but I found it pretty early on. This just came out yesterday. This is my second upload for the day. Um, but this just came out yesterday, so I felt like I was one of the earlier people to really understand it. And for those who are just playing this and don't quite understand, I figured I might as well make a video showing you guys how to do it. Plus, I really, really enjoy this map as a whole, so I felt like, why not, you know, share it with you guys because... Uh, it's something that I enjoy doing, and I just I don't really touch much on zombies, and so I figured this couldn't hurt, right? Now, before I get too deep into this guide or tutorial or whatever you want to call it, I'd like to ask you guys to do one thing. Can you go ahead and hit the notifications button down there uh, right next to the subscribe button so that way you guys don't miss any future uploads from me and you can be a part of the notification squad? Now, let's get right into it. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to go ahead and turn on the power. In order to turn on the power, you need to go through the first door right there down towards the ice cream shop. And then once you go up to the um, power station, then once you continue to go forward, you go through the grocery store and then the... Uh, power switch that you'll need to turn on the power will be located in a zombie's hand down on the beach. Pick that up, take it back, turn on the power. Just put it in place and it will turn it on. Now you have your power on, you can buy your perks, you can do whatever you want. The next step is go ahead and go inside of the shop, the little uh, grocery store area that you were in to get to the beach, and grab the cleaver that is inside of the shark that is behind the counter go ahead and grab that and then turn around and go uh back down to the ice cream shop from when you first turned on the power uh when you were when you're going that way to turn the power from your first spawn and inside of the room in the in the back room there will be a vault that is open and inside that vault there will be a book go ahead and grab that book and you're going to need this in order to turn on or to enable to pack a punch your weapons the next thing that you need to do is you need to go to Elvera and give her the book that you found inside the ice cream shop vault. Uh, give that to her. That is her spell book. And then she's going to give you a vial. Now, the next thing you need to do is this is where the cleaver comes in handy. Um, you need to use the cleaver that is now your new melee weapon and you need to melee kill zombies to fill up this vial with radioactive material. Uh, the radioactive material will be easier to get if you melee kill the zombies that have like the glowing green around them, the soldiers, or the actual mutant things, but you can kill any zombie, this will do the job and it will work. Uh, once you fill the vial, you take it back to Elvera, you give it to her and she will come out of the little spot she's in, and she will now be in the map, she will actively kill zombies, she can revive you if you go down. I don't know for how long it will last, uh, but she is now there to help you, and she will go to these little blue orbs that are located around the map. Uh, the only two that I know of right now are right outside the room well, where Elvera is, and right outside the ice cream shop in the back corner. Those are the only two places that I know of currently uh, where those are at, but I don't think they're going to be too hard to find. But those are the areas where you take Elvera to, and she will turn on the portal, and you can use this to get to the pack-a-punch room where you can pack a punch your weapon. So it's not too complicated, it's not too hard. Uh, for first-time Zombies players, or people who don't play a lot of Zombies like myself, this is pretty useful to know because the game is pretty hard. Um, this Zombies map is really, really fun and it's really open. I don't think it's necessarily easy because you get into the later rounds and I think it gets pretty difficult. The highest round I've made it to is, is pretty embarrassing. I think it's 15 or 16 and that was with two people. Um, so if you guys are enjoying this video, please go ahead and hit the like button if this was useful for you. If it got you what you needed, go ahead and slap that like button. And I will see you in the next video. Deuces.